everybody welcome back to uh, Trillo fire it is coming into fall now and uh, it's almost October 1st I am in Springfield Missouri and the weather is absolutely beautiful it's uh, 70s and some days still eight low 80s during the day and like 50s and 60s at night so I'm absolutely loving this weather and looking forward to some winter hiking but there was something really cool I saw over here. Um, haven't been out. This is Sequiota Park in Springfield, Missouri. I haven't been out to Sequiota in a few months, um, only because a lot of people are kind of trash in the area. And I found some a lot cooler trails. But out here, there's bat caves and um, playgrounds and cookout areas. Usually, this area is where the storm washes come through. But the, the water level is really low, so there's no water here. But I was going to show you guys something cool that I found. Um, it's right up here around the corner. Something new. This is really neat. This is a really beautiful area. If you guys are ever in the 417 area, check it out. There's trails literally all over the place. They're little tiny trails. They're nothing big. But um, over here, there's a there's a paved trail that connects to several green greenway trails. They're just all over the place, and they're all interconnected. But anyways, not to get off topic, right over here by the Bat Caves, I saw something really cool that somebody built. And I don't know, I don't think it was built by the city. I think somebody came out here and built something out here with or without permission. It looks pretty cool. Um, let me show you guys really quick. I see a lot of people out here with bicycle trailers and, and e-bikes, which really makes me happy because I got to tell you guys, I know a lot of people are against electric, but... There's a lot of freedom in it, too. Um, electric bikes are amazing. Uh, check out this arch. Somebody built this. And I just think that is really neat. It's like the entrance to a trail here that goes up and over the caves. I'll come back to that in a second. I'll show you guys the back caves here really quick. There's kids playing in there. They're not really supposed to be in here. It even says caves closed. The bat population has been almost decimated and wiped out here completely because of human interaction we're not supposed to be in there because a white nose syndrome is caused by humans we carry a, a bacteria on us that kills bats but nobody pays attention to those signs that's another reason why i stopped coming out to sequiota people don't even teach your kids to follow the rules but you know whatever um but i just thought this was kind of cool it's tied together with rope. Um, this is, the honeysuckle is just really taken off. It really takes over the area a lot. And, uh, oh, sorry, pardon me. But yeah, this uh, trail goes up and over the caves. And uh, there's actually a spot here where you can climb up the rocks. But yeah, this is just a quick video, guys, showing you the, the beauty of the area. It's incredible. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come up and around the back cave. I don't want to bother people and be recording too many people close up. Some people don't care for that. So I like to respect people's privacy, especially when they're spending time with their families. Look at this gap here. Years ago, I actually, I can't believe this hasn't collapsed. Because I remember about 14, 15 years ago, I crawled in there when I was skinnier and <laughs> got between the rocks. And made it look like I was picking up the rock. And it's still there. It's it's cracking. So I think that eventually one of these days this thing will split. But probably not for a long time. Here's the caves. So here's a big old giant cave over here. There's actually like two caves. Uh, anyways, there's families over there. I can uh, make another separate video on that later. This is just so neat. Look at the bridge. Lots of shade trees. Gazebos and uh, barbecue grills. This is just a really great park. Really peaceful to come out here and check stuff out. There's so much stuff blooming out here. The uh, beavers took down a lot of trees out here. So the trail that goes along the uh, the wall here is kind of blocked off. I had a hell of a time getting through here. 
but there's trails that there's high trails that go up through there and um there's actually there's a trail right here that goes up and over and then if you're brave you can uh you can climb all the way up that so this doesn't really do any justice i'll show you that uh this first rock level right here is above my head and then it just goes up and up and up all the way over so it doesn't look like it with the camera but it's it's pretty steep uh pretty steep climb so really pretty and then uh, there's a trail that goes up this way it goes back up and over the cave the other way where i showed you guys this trail goes all the way up to the top of the hill it kind of bypasses all this the beavers have been going nuts they don't like the sound of running water so naturally they like to uh chew down trees to block off water current there's another trail it kind of goes up and over so I'll just I'll walk up here a few feet and just kind of give you guys a glance. Nature everywhere. And you can see that the leaves are starting to change color. Changes the season. I love it. And it's here in another month. It's going to be um, a lot of these trees are going to be bare and not have much um, on the trees at all. Oh, man, I slipped. But yeah, this goes all the way up and up. I'm probably not going to walk all the way up. I just uh, walk up about halfway here, man, and uh, kind of give you guys an idea. <sighs> I'm out of shape. See, the trail kind of goes off to the right or it keeps going up. But uh, <clears throat> there's a bridge right over there that I was just at. It's really great because if you get up to the top, there's some spots where you can kind of see out over the whole entire park. We'll come back down. We, uh, we need a lot more rain. The water levels are low, but... As you can tell, the ground is still a little moist, so I gotta be really careful because these rocks are very smooth and damp. So uh, I do have I do have my Merrells on, but they are getting a little worn out, so the uh, traction is not as great as it used to be. I'm gonna need me a new pair of hiking shoes here soon, which I dread because I hate spending money. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I got some uh, cool trail videos coming up here soon that I'm planning. And, uh, it, yeah, if you like videos like this, if you like nature videos, um, anything outdoors, drop a comment let me know so that I can make more videos like that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like two islands out here. Years ago, I launched a bottle boat right here by the, the, uh, the, uh, that little water uh, drainage right there and um, I, I sailed my bottle boat I made it out of um, 182 two liter bottles and milk crates I made a raft and um, if you guys look on YouTube it's not on my channel somebody videoed me and I didn't even know it this was right around the time when YouTube first started but they um, posted the video voyage of the bottle boat you can see me out here sailing at Sequoia Park I launched it right here and I went out to one of these little islands out here. I don't think the islands, I think the trees and stuff were a lot smaller at the time. So the, these, uh, the trees out here are really taken off. So most of this is natural, but they added some artificial stuff out here for like the ducks and everything. We get Canadian geese that come through here and everything else. Pretty wild. Yeah, so I'm not going to go too much further on the trail. I would show you guys the down trees, but it's literally so thick you can't even see the trail. So it would really make it hard to do a video right now. So, And I'm trying to, you can see it's, it's kind of magic hour, last hour of sunlight. So I would get the sunset, but it's kind of going behind the clouds. It's overcast today, which is nice. You know, these ducks are swimming right up to me. They're so domesticated because people are feeding them bread. And which, by the way, I thought I would add in the video that bread 
it it slowly kills the ducks and it also hurts the ecosystem it causes all the algae blooms which hurts the fish and it, it just kind of messes up the whole entire ecosystem so don't feed bread with the ducks guys it doesn't just hurt the ducks it hurts the whole entire environment you're not doing them any favors i know it's entertaining to watch them eat if you feel like you have to feed wildlife which i wouldn't recommend it do like cracked corn or at least something that their digestive tracts can agree with something that's not going to make a mess up the ecosystem let's take care of the earth guys and take care of each other they really are beautiful look at the duck hey buddy he's just chilling look at that man that's a postcard scene right he's just chilling he realized i don't have any food he's going to go back over to his friends anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please click like and if you're new to the channel please hit subscribe so you can join us for future fun so you guys don't miss out on anything i do a lot of outdoor videos and a lot of spicy food content so if that's something you like man click subscribe trail fire i'll see you guys next time god bless